so I think targeting your interventions is really key down to a down to a person level. You know, we're all um, or many of us familiar with the, the great data that's on uh, fingertips and that is available at a kind of borough or ward or, or, or county level. But but really to uh, have the best chance of, of tackling health inequalities, we, we need to be super targeted. We need to be able to identify the individual patients or cohorts of individual patients who we want to target for those interventions that we want to uh, uh, that we want to pursue. And and the challenge in Surrey is that although although it's a relatively affluent county o o on average, um, uh, there are nonetheless you know pockets within Surrey you know that do sit within the the twenty percent most deprived uh, LSOAs uh, nationally. Uh, and there are pockets of, of populations in Surrey that are disadvantaged, but perhaps because they are concealed within the averages uh, makes them more difficult to find. So the challenge to population health analytics, therefore, is to be able to take that sort of person person level record view of bringing together different factors around individual residents lives in order to be able to identify cohorts of patients that can be targeted or should be targeted for for interventions aimed at tackling uh, those health inequalities which as I said are perhaps not always as obvious to us in in Surrey as they may be in other parts of the country um, because ultimately the the gap uh, in uh, um, uh, the, the gap in living standards and life expectancy within within a region is is often greater than the gap between regions and you know, we still have those people who, who are in need, but but may just be more difficult to find uh, from an organisational level uh, and therefore need that person centred view in order to be able to target for interventions more effectively.